Hi everyone, this is The Focus Spender and today I'm going to be talking to you about Chime Bank, a fairly new disruptor bank breaking into the banking industry and my experience using their debit and savings account. But first, if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. My channel is all about getting out of debt, staying out of debt, organizing your personal finances and increasing your net worth. So let's get started. So a few months ago, the folks at Chime Bank asked me to try out their account and do a review on it. And honestly, I was a bit wary because I really do love my two bank setup and I'm very comfortable with my situation. And I, I really didn't want to spoil that flow, but I thought, you know what? Let me stop being an old lady. Let me look into the account and give it a try. And when I looked into the account, I saw that the bank had a really cool feature that allowed you to get your direct deposit up to two days early. And I thought, okay, I'm sure there's tons of people who are subscribed to me that would be interested in doing something like this just to really help their cash flow. So let me actually give this account a try. So here's the card. It is a white debit card, which is really cool. It says Chime. It has the Visa logo. It has the chip. And right where my finger is covering is where your name would be. And on the back, it has your your actual card number. And I do like the fact that your card number is on the back because it allows for that extra level of security when you're at the bank or when you're out shopping. Usually your card goes into the machine face down, I'm sorry, it goes into the machine face up, and then that way no one can actually see what your card number is. So when I got the card, it had $200 already loaded on it, and I started to use it right away. I use it for gas, for clothes, for groceries, I purchased things online, um, and I had absolutely no issues. I never had um, any issues um, with the account. I wasn't sure, maybe because it wasn't a regular bank, that maybe it wasn't going to be accepted everywhere, but I had absolutely no problems with that. I also turned on the auto savings feature, which rounded up all of my purchases to the nearest dollar and saved that difference into the savings account that is linked, um, the savings account that is built into Chime Bank. So the app itself is really cute. It organizes all of your um, purchases into categories and it has a little picture to show what the category is, which I liked. And it also shows how much was rounded up from each purchase and transferred into your savings account. I also tried a few other things just to make sure the account worked. I did a transfer from my bank on July 14th and um, I could I should say that it did take a while for the transfer to go through. Um, the money hit my bank on I think July 20th, um, which is quite a while. I don't know who was holding the money. I don't know if Chime was holding the money. I don't know if my other bank was holding the money, but somebody was getting an interest and I wasn't. I was also able to link the account to my mint.com and I linked it to my personal capital account and if you don't know what personal capital is it's basically like a grown-up version of mint.com but more focused on people who are interested in investing and if you want to know more about personal capital I will link that video that I did on it below. So here are some pros and cons. While I was able to link my Bank of America to the account very easily when I tried to do Capital One 360 it had a really hard time. I could tell that it was connecting um, but when I tried to, it, like it connected, but then I would get an error message. And I even tried again today and it sent me um, a verification link, but when I went to check, I still didn't see anything. So I know I probably should have contacted the help desk because they do support Capital One 360, but I was being lazy and I haven't. But a pro on the other hand is that the debit card and the savings accounts have absolutely no fees. I mean, zero fees. If you want to make a purchase for $15 and you only have $10 on your card, you just can't make the purchase. It's not going to allow it to go through. It's not going to allow it to go through and then charge you an overdraft fee. Um, and also there's no monthly fees to the account. So it's an absolutely free card to use. However, if you go to a random bank and use their ATM, you are going to get charged a fee by that bank. So to make sure that you don't get charged a fee, you just need to go to an ATM that is supported by Chime Bank. And you can find that using their ATM locator on the app. One really cool pro um, feature that I figured out is that you can actually deposit cash into the account. And that was quite impressive because I use Capital One 360, which is different from Capital One. They're connected, but they're not the same. So I can go to Capital One ATM and I can withdraw money for free, but I cannot 
put cash into their account. I can link it to my other bank. I can write a check and cat uh, use the use my phone to um, uh, cash to check, but I can't put cash onto my Capital One 360. And you can do that with the Chime card. You just need to go to a green dot location, and they have over 60,000 uh, locations in the U.S. So the biggest con with this account is that it is a non-interest bearing account and I would be remiss if I did not bring that point up because I'm all about interest I feel like you know your money you work hard for your money you want to make sure your money is working hard for you so that's my biggest con with the account however I would say that you can incorporate this card into your financial strategy quite nicely so you can use this card for a very specific purpose. If you have sinking funds, and if you don't know what a sinking fund is, you can click on the link that I have um, on my video on it. But basically, it's a savings account. It's a long-term savings account where you're saving for a purchase over a, an extended period of time, but you're saving for it in every single paycheck. So let's say you have a Christmas fund, a Christmas sinking fund, and every time you get paid, you put $50 away, into that savings account. You could easily put it on to your Chime card and then when it comes time to purchase your Christmas gifts, the money has been segregated from the rest of your money and then you can just use the card to buy all of your Christmas gifts. And it's very easy to see how much money you have left. Another way that you can use this card and if I had kids, this is exactly what I would do, but this is a good a card to give to a younger not a young child but like a teenager let's say you're giving them a monthly allowance or a weekly allowance whatever you can transfer that money onto this debit card the card gives you alerts it gives you a daily alert with how much money is left on the card and it gives you an alert every time you use the card so you can have the alert go to your phone you can have it go to your child's phone but either way you can use it to teach them good financial habits you can and you can also really monitor how they are spending so my final conclusion is that I'm going to keep using this card but I'm going to make sure I use it for a very specific purpose I'm not too sure if it's going to be clothes or groceries but it's going to be a very specific purpose so that I have um, you know money that I want separated from my regular spending and I don't ever have to, to mix the two I hope you enjoyed this video if you do be sure to click like um, leave a comment below if you've used the card and to share it with your friends. You can also find me on social media at face on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Focus Bender. Thanks. Bye bye.